Hey, Jeff with Madness here. Today I'm sitting down with Nikki Patello. How are you, Nikki? I'm good. How are you awesome. doing, Jeff? Awesome. I'm so excited to have you in. I appreciate you taking the time to come in and hang out with us here today at Madness. And yeah, thank you for having me. It's, it's an honor to be here. It really is, you know? Awesome. And who is this here that we have? This is my buddy Zeus. Oh, yes. Zeus, and we <laughs> joke around and we say that he looks like a love child, right? <laughs> Between Wicked and Teak. He's the cutest does. dog. He does. He just chills. <laughs> He's with me all the time. He's my buddy. But yes. So, uh, what got you into acting? You know, um, I guess that sounds like a question. You know, uh, I guess I was always very expressive as mm -hmm. a child, right? Can you say that? And uh, enough that my mom, I guess, knew to like pursue that creative outlet you know Absolutely. but like I mean, mom was like look at he's resting his hand on my, <laughs> on my on my arm he loves that he'll find it everywhere like does that look comfortable no but he makes it look like it is right feels close yeah but yeah my um you know and my mom would blast the music and we'd rock out and dance Saturday night fever on the front lawn so I always kind of had some theatricalness in my blood i guess sounds like yeah but um I just kind of, you know, in, in school, pursued that avenue, school plays, etc. Yeah. And then in high school, my high school drama teacher got me an agent. Mm -hmm. That agent, the first audition I ever went on was for the Ewoks, the Battle for Endor. And my agent said, oh, you know, I'm just sending you on this audition for the experience because they're not going to hire you because you're a kid and they have child labor laws, yeah. you know, etc. So I'm like, okay. So I went on over, you know, Santa Fe, Marin County, and um, I guess for being a little person, I mean, really little. I didn't know that, that I was tiny, tiny, and the only little person in my family. So I had no means of comparison. Sure. And I hadn't done anything beyond, you know, acting in school, et cetera, not in the business. Yeah. So um, they were excited because I was tiny, and they hired me to... Um, do Warwick stunts Very cool. for the Ewoks, yeah, because I was like closest to him in height, he's even smaller than I am, Yeah. and um, so they hired me for that, and that lasted a couple weeks until That's Keith awesome. came along, yeah. Yeah, I can already tell. Like, I mean, you totally light up the room. You know, like you, you have a very commanding presence, and that's like one of the wow. first things that I've noticed. Like, thank you. It's uh, I could I could tell it was an easy fit for you. So I mean, you know, what does what does Star Wars mean to you? And like, you know, now the the Mandalorian. Like, how does that impacted your life? Like, so I'm sure you forge bonds with like the cast and the crew and things like that, and just like the whole experience. Yeah, it just um, well, one thing I just have nothing but respect gratitude and honor for lucas films you know what i mean i mean they gave me my start you know they made it possible so i can go to college pay for my own you. you know what i mean yeah exactly i mean you know i made this money when i was 16 and i used it to better myself you know education etc and i was so lucky my first job ever was with lucas films I mean, just the top of the top, I know. you know, I mean, I it's just, insane. wow. And I just, I just have such respect for them, like I said, and just, well, I just, a huge smile whenever I, I see anything Star Wars. That's awesome. And it's just, it's a trip, you know, 30 something years coming back and working on Mandalorian and uh, with Disney at the helm. I now, can only imagine, yeah. It is. and. Uh, this came about in a roundabout way, a friend of a friend, whatever, but they never made the connection that I played Teak when I was doing the jaw walk. That's so cool. Yeah, and the friend's like, well, they didn't know. We should tell them. I'm like, what am I going to say? <laughs> you know? <laughs> hey, you know, but it kind of just shows the difference, you know, the changing of the guards and everything like that. Like, Absolutely. just a whole other world. Same characters and story and et cetera. The, saga and tradition continues but um just a different a different experience yeah and it's cool too is i feel like it, it appeals to all generations there's something just universally appealing about the franchise and it just like the fandom is so strong too that where it's yeah. just like it's one big family and like i mean you can pick up right where you left off with people and it's just 
it's just something really cool. And I mean, especially with the Mandalorian being like a whole new audience and like a whole new generation of people getting into it. Yeah. And, like, it's just, it's got to be cool to, to be a part of that as well. It really is. It, it, and it's cool to see it continue on yeah. and strong. It amazes me how strong. I Absolutely. mean, it continues to be. Before I was involved in it, you know what I mean? So my mom was a big Star Wars fan. Yeah. So, I mean, it just, and it's it's going strong. And it's, you know, it just keeps, keeps going. Do you have a, a favorite story from set or like favorite moment or like a, a really cool experience that you had while you were on set? Oh my God. I'm sure there's pick a ton. Pick a day, pick a character, yeah. pick something. I'm all, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know, pick a character or something. Let's see. Um, God, I mean, every day it was something cool. Um, it's just such a, like a, a... A tumble down, oh no. down a ravine. That doesn't sound fun at all. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but I was young. So it was just, I stayed loose, right? There you go. It was a, it was a, a POV of teeth. There looking out into a ravine and there was a marauders all on the other side yeah and they were um coming down and someone had a great idea oh let's have mickey get up and walk out of frame <laughs> yeah and joe johnston was a director of second yeah. unit and he put on the slate dup i didn't know that directed under protest mm -hmm. i'm like oh okay smart man they put the, the stunt padding like right beneath the ravine where I walked, you know what I mean? The cats when they had people waiting this and that. Of course I like right beyond that and just <laughs> did it and it tumbled all the way down, you know, and then made it to the very bottom. There's a little stream running, I was like on one foot down and then bam, face down. <laughs> and there's water running through it and because it's that padding it just weighed me down. So all the marauder guys came running down. Yeah. And, you know, they're big dudes, and they took one hand and just ripped me out of the water, ripped the head off, and you know, I'm all discombobulated. And this marauder guy's, Nikki, are you okay? You know? <laughs> so it was kind of cool. And then later, the effects guys painted a big old bruise on my back. And, nice. and first unit, Ken and Jim Wheat, like, oh, and if you heard to take a tumble, they're going to okay, blah, blah, blah. I go, yeah, my back's a little sore, though. And I showed it to him, and like, <laughs> the in the hospital, you know what I mean? Trying not to look shocked or whatever, and I just laughed. But that was that whole little stunt. But yeah, <laughs> well, that was awesome. Well, uh, you know, what's it? Tell me, tell me about who who is Nikki? So we we know you for your work and all the the roles that you've had. But like, what's a day in the life for for Nikki? Like, what do you have any like special hobbies or like think, cool you things? You know, I'm also a special ed teacher. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Yep. Um. All grades, K through 12, but middle school is my forte. That's such and an important uh, time in their lives, isn't too. Isn't it? Yeah. Like, I mean, they're hormonal anyway. Yeah. And then with, like, a learning disability on top of it. The hardest part when I teach is for me not to laugh. And not after kids, it's with them. Because yeah. they're just so over-the-top dramatic. And, yeah. you know, at that age, 11 to 14, you know, I'm like, okay, I'm not supposed to be laughing, but that was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Or they had this need to tell me, to divulge this information. I'm like, it's great, but, you know, you can only tell me so much before I have to say something. You exactly. Know? But, so, no, I always, you know, when I did Ewoks, I was 16. Like I said, I just, you know, put the money aside, went to college, got a degree, got my teacher credential. So I bounced back and forth from acting and, and teaching for 30 something years. That's now nice. I'm just kind of chilling. Well, that sounds like uh, a good time for sure. Well, that's awesome. Well, thank you for taking a moment to, t to chat and for stopping in and hanging out with us. But we're so glad you're here. Thanks for stopping by. Absolutely. I'm all can you Fist bump. Let's fist bump. Boom. 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 Blow it up. Boom. We'll see y'all next time.